One of the basic rules is that the fingers control the descent of the key, or the playing of the note, but also the release. And the release is a very important thing to focus on. Uh, as pianists, oftentimes the release is something that just happens reflexively. If you're a singer and you're singing a high note, very soft, you absolutely have to be in control of the release and think about the sound past the end of the note, otherwise you'll lose control. But as pianists, we can pretty much focus on the next key that needs to go down and not focus on the release. And this exercise can really help to get control of both the playing of the note and the release of the note. We're going to think about a clock. So each one of these circles uh, is a full clock, with, and the fingers start at 12 o'clock. So my thumb's at 12, and it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Second finger, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And throughout with the fingers. When I, 6 o'clock is when the note's played. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Notice the hand stays quiet. The finger is able to control both the playing and the release of the note without any trouble. We're going to overlap the notes as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, to play that note. I'm balanced on that note, and now what I need to do is connect the next note to this note. So my second finger is at 12, and I'm gonna go around one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice the notes are both down, overlapping them, and now my thumb's gonna release. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and it's in a ready position to play the next note. Third finger comes around, one, two, three, four, five, six. Second finger releases, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Fourth finger, one, two, three, four, five, six. Third finger, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Fifth finger, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fourth finger, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then finally, the fifth finger is going to finish its circle, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.